to tell that money, you don't belong to the wicked. You belong to us. And I want you to get in the right place. Money coming to me now. Hey guys, it's Oaks. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. It looks like the process is almost over because according to The Athletic and many sources he, even here in the US, they are reporting that it's not even if anymore, it's a deal done, a done deal. You know what I mean? Todd Boyle is apparently the guy that will lead us for the next, I don't know how many years they're going to own Chelsea Football Club. So, we're going to have to wait for the official here we go. But it's time for you to start watching the Dodgers. <laughs> Buy the Lakers jersey because we are family now with them, okay? If you don't like LeBron James, listen, he's going to be part of us. Because Todd Bowley gets some shares also uh in the lakers team so make no mistake todd bowley is like the, the minority on all this right other bankers other businessmen behind him so he's just the head of the whole project because he knows how to do it and how to create money this guy if you look at the amount of money he made for dodgers and lakers you'll be amazed but also you're gonna have to dig your pocket a little bit more because he's gonna sell us even services games on you know cell phone games and i, I don't want to even go to details but this guy knows exactly how to create money the american market still like empty and we are going to capitalize on every single penny from american people <laughs> i'm telling you they're going to make tons of money out of Chelsea, but they know that money call money, okay? You invest a lot of money, you get a lot of money. Probably we don't have a sugar daddy anymore, but the guy that we are getting right now knows how to create money, make money for himself, and also spend money because, you know, the, the, the bigger you are, the more money you make. The more trophy you win, the more money you make, the more rich you become. So it's going to be a win-win situation for Chelsea Football Club. I'm going to tell you to its business the end of the day. I just don't understand why this guy here, uh, Sir Jim, only came the last minute. Because I tell you what, if this guy came last week, right, the narrative was going to change because on paper he got a better project he said listen we are not here for money we are here for prestige for uh, for britain you know for the uk it's just like pride our team is going to the americans we're gonna show them that yes we are here to protect our legacy you know our team so i don't know where that idea was all this time that he didn't want to get involved came with more than four billion you know and then all of a sudden, you know, it's the last minute. The process has been there for month and month. We were waiting for a sugar daddy. The sugar daddy showed up the last minute, but it's too late. I mean, like I said, a week ago, if he submitted that bid, we were going to think twice before we go with Boily, who actually got like tons of people and, bank and banks behind him. And we're going to have to borrow money from banks and pay with a lot of interest and all that. With this guy who got his own money, he got more money right now than Roman Abramovich. So, ah, man. So, I don't know. Many people are going to to take it as it is. But if you, if you look closely, this sugar daddy was going to replace another sugar daddy. Very, very sad. But at the end of the day, it's all business. That's the way. Why, Dad? Why? why? This is business. This is my swag. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> this is business. Hey! I invested the money. Stop talking! I will kill you. Sorry, sorry, sir. Hey, Dad. Uh, why? Business. 
Okay, okay, my people. It's all business. So, <laughs> we're going to start. Uh, it, it's it's going to be a tough one because, listen, before they make a decision, right, to buy a player or something, they have to, you know, to, to go to a, a special meeting. You know, they have to call each other, video call or whatever. It's not going to be Abramovic where... The decision need to be taken you know overnight he can just sleep and had a bad dream and like okay tomorrow i'm having fernando torres <laughs> this time it's gonna be oh you have to call such you have to, to call such bank you have to call people and try to sell them the project before anything is done but hopefully they can all understand that sport is gonna bring them more money okay we spend money we make money so with the guarantee that Abramovic wants, that somebody need to, to you know, to guarantee that they're going to own the club for 10 years and they have a certain amount of money, cash, not the money that you're going to borrow. You have the money to build the stadium. All those guarantees are going to help us to be a stronger team in the future. And Arsenal and other teams, if you think that Chelsea are going to die and we're not going to win trophies anymore, think again because there will never be a situation like this publicly where you have to, to kind of commit yourself in public to doing certain things. So when Arsenal and Man United were bought, nobody even knew about it. It was boom, boom, business done. But this time, Fans are involved deeply in every single step of the operation. And we're going to be different, man. We are Chelsea. We're going to continue to be Chelsea. And London is going to remain blue. Anyways, people, let's go online now and read some of the latest. Uh, yeah, John Terry. Did you see the, uh, the tweet from John Terry when he said the best in the world and... Uh, he wanted to to give some money because we're gonna we are making a, a banner at Stamford Bridge. If you haven't yet, go to the Chelsea fanzine, right? Um, I'm gonna find it and probably leave the link so you can contribute pay, PayPal with some money, um, you know, so that we can just give him the respect that he deserves because. Okay, take politics away from this, right? People are going to tell you, oh, look at that, look at that, you know, Russia and Ukraine. Listen, take the politics away from this. You and me, we know each other today because of Roman Abramovich. Respect, okay? We are in this level because of Roman Abramovich. So uh, let's keep it in the sport way. So, yeah, many tributes been there look at him in london here man it's sad to see that he's probably will never never come back to london or one day when all this is done he will come at the bridge and say goodbye to to everybody and leave forever but the best owner in the world is this guy here respect and respect i don't appreciate anybody that try to change their mind just because of the narrative so Ah, uh, that the way it is, my people. So, uh, on this weekend or next week, we're going to hear something more. Now, uh, everything is in the stage of, you know, background check and, you know, application of this and that. Uh, you have to pass the test with the Premier League and on. It's a lot of stuff st still to be done. But listen, it's not done yet, okay? make no mistake this is not done yet until it's done because the government can still say you know what we are not going to give you the license we don't accept your application and probably jim is gonna come back uh, to <laughs> to buy chelsea so fingers crossed because i'm sick and tired of this all i want right now is a <laughs> A break from all this new owner so we can prepare our pre-season and uh, see what gonna happen next season don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel follow your brother on social media let's follow each other god bless you think outside the box and i will see you next time but hey sir jimmy or sir jim 
Radcliffe, he has nobody to blame but himself because he was late. Thank you.